Hey everyone, welcome to another installment of Harry Potter Theory. Today we'll be discussing the curse that Voldemort placed on the Defense Against the Dark Arts position at Hogwarts, and whether or not it lifted after the Dark Lord's death. Over the course of Harry Potter's time at Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry, many things within the school remained steadfastly the same. The magic within the walls of the castle itself, the eerie ghosts that roamed the hallways, as well as the many familiar faces of the teaching staff. From Professor Minerva McGonagall, the constant transfiguration teacher, to Professor Cuthbert Binns, who continued to teach history of magic even after he died, many of the men and women who worked at Hogwarts had been in their roles for many, many years. And yet there was one staff position that wasn't so constant, the role of the Defense Against the Dark Arts, or Dada Professor. From Harry's first year in 1991, all the way until the Battle of Hogwarts in 1998, there was a new witch or wizard who arrived each September to take up the Dada teaching position. As a first year, the Defense Against the Dark Arts professor was Quirinus Quirrell, who died at the end of the school year after being possessed by a shadowy version of Voldemort. Then in 1992, there was Gilderoy Lockhart, the famous wizard author who turned out to be a fraud and was accidentally driven mad by his own rebounding memory curse. In Harry's third year, we got to meet Remus Lupin for the first time. While he survived his year in the role of Dada Professor, he resigned after word got out about his condition as a werewolf. The following year, the position was taken on by Alistair Mad-Eye Moody, who turned out to be a Death Eater, Barty Crouch Jr. in disguise. Barty was given the Dementor's kiss, and the real Moody never took on the position himself. 1995 saw the reign of the psychotic witch Dolores Umbridge, who went on to become Hogwarts High Inquisitor, then headmistress of the school. This left the role empty for Severus Snape, who taught the course for a year before killing Albus Dumbledore and returning the following year as headmaster. That same year, another Death Eater, Amicus Caro, became the new Dada teacher, renaming the subject to simply the Dark Arts. Considering he was a follower of Voldemort, and Voldemort died during the Battle of Hogwarts, Amicus was not allowed to continue in the position the following year, and instead was likely sent to Azkaban. That is, if he survived. And that's not all. For years before Harry arrived at Hogwarts, the Dada role, rumored by students to be cursed, had had a revolving door of new professors, none of whom held the job for more than a year. Alongside Harry in his sixth year at Hogwarts, we eventually learn why. The position had indeed been cursed. Back when Lord Voldemort was known by the name Tom Riddle, he interviewed for the position of Defense Against the Dark Arts Professor, not once, but twice. The first time he applied, he was fresh out of school, and believed to be no more than 18 years old. He interviewed with the headmaster at the time, Professor Armando Dippet, who believed he was too young to teach such an important subject. Riddle was rejected once again when he returned to interview for the position years later, this time with Albus Dumbledore, who had become the headmaster since Tom's previous application. Oh, he definitely wanted the Defense Against the Dark Arts job, said Dumbledore. The aftermath of our little meeting proved that. You see, we have never been able to keep a Defense Against the Dark Arts teacher for longer than a year since I refused the post to Lord Voldemort. This explanation from Dumbledore proves that Tom, almost immediately before becoming Lord Voldemort, cursed the Dada position. It's believed that Riddle did this for two reasons. One, he was angry that he had once again been rejected for the job. And two, if a witch or wizard never taught in that role for more than a year, the Defense Against the Dark Arts department would be weak due to the constant turnover, meaning that the material taught to the students would inadequately prepare them for battle against dark wizards like himself. So, after years of being cursed, the question remains. Did Voldemort's curse on the role of Dada Professor lift after he died? According to the author, yes it did. In an interview since the release of the final installment of this series, J.K. Rowling confirmed the Dark Lord's curse on the Defense Against the Dark Arts position lifted with his death. Presumably, once he was no longer alive, the curse broke and was no longer able to affect those who held the position. And with that, we've come to the end of today's video. What did you think? Please share your thoughts in the comments below. And as always, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like it and subscribe to the channel. Until next time, remember, it does not do to dwell on dreams and to forget to live.